Why do you think it's important for young people to get active in their communities? And how do you think you can help out someone who doesn't think that their voice will be heard? Well, one, all great movements are based upon young people being involved, being empowered, uh, understanding how they can make change in, in their community. If you look at the Civil Rights Movement, you're talking about young people. You're talking about the Abolitionist Movement, you're talking about young people. So transformation happens in communities when young people are empowered, they're educated. And it's critical that young people are not only just on the front lines, but they are also the organizers, that they're setting direction. And that is one of the things that we attempt to teach here at Trinity United Church of Christ, that we want people to understand that the transformation of America from uh, segregation to a modern day, uh, there's still a lot of segregation in America, but to the modern day uh, setup that we have today uh, is because of people in Birmingham and Montgomery uh, and in Mississippi. It's, in, it's critical for young people to be involved in transforming their community. Yeah, and that way they don't have that, like once Dr. King left, people didn't know who else to go to. That's this right. way it can keep That's going. Right. Dr. King said his time in Chicago was a step on a thousand mile journey. Where are we currently on that journey? Two miles. Where are we on the journey? What, two miles down the road? <laughs> <laughs> um, Chicago is unique. Uh, as, as you know, that Dr. King had a challenge here. It wasn't, wasn't a failure, but he had a great challenge. There was a belief that segregation and racism was a southern problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but Chicago was built, is the city that is built on race. Uh, other cities have been able to manage that kind of integration. Um, uh, but Chicago has been fearful of other people sharing in the wealth and also the resources of the city. And that's why I say we're only two miles down the road. That makes a lot of sense. It's crazy how we're, we, it seems like we're so far ahead of things mm -hmm. nowadays, but <laughs> we are in some places, but not everywhere. So right. yeah. So how do you think we move beyond where we are to actually create a just society? Uh, breaking the system, action, uh, deep faith and possibility in ourselves, recognizing that God has empowered us uh, internally to transform things externally. We need people who are radical, getting to the root. We need people who are revolutionary, willing to change. We need people committed, who are willing to empower other people, and we need people who deeply love not only themselves, but they recognize and they can see the fingerprint of the divine on other people that they encounter.